Hello Ridge Kids, welcome back. We're in the third week of April and if you were with us last week we celebrated Easter and now we're moving on and we're looking at how does Jesus want us to live. So whether you have a younger student, preschool, toddler, or kindergarten age or you have uh, a Ridge Kids first through sixth grade, we're going to have a special message for you today. So we're going to start off with the younger with the younger group with Ridge Kids Junior and then we're going to go into Ridge Kids. But I want you to really, just whoever's with you at home, today is just get together, sing, pray, read the Bible, discuss what we're learning this morning, and just see how God can impact you. Because all this month, we're talking about humility, and we're talking about how Jesus comes into our lives and just changes everything. So I hope you enjoy the service. We're going to get started, and then I will check back with you at the end and ask you a few questions. There's a smile on my face today Hands are lifted high, can't be shy, I won't be afraid Bonjour, friends. It is I, Chef Piton. <laughs> Just kidding. It's me, Peyton. Today, I'm helping my mom cook breakfast for my friends. We're cooking eggs and toast. Yummy! But first, I have to put on all my chef things. Number one, I have to put on an apron to keep the food from getting on my clothes. Number two, a chef's hat to keep my hair out of the food. Number three, an oven mitt, just to keep my hands safe in case anything is hot. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Peyton. Who? Who? Cooking breakfast, are you? Yes, I am cooking breakfast for my friends. Cooking for your friends is a loving thing to do. I have a story about that for you. Listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. Hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. I'm just finishing up my breakfast. <laughs> what do you like to eat for breakfast? Raise your hand if you like to eat cereal. Oh yeah. What about rice? 
Oh, does anybody like to eat yogurt? Mm. Who likes eggs? <laughs> yep, breakfast is delicious, and it's actually an important part of our story today. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible happens not long after Easter. Do you remember what happened in the Easter story? Jesus died, and then three days later, Can you count with me? One, two, three. Jesus came back. Jesus is alive. At first, when he died, Jesus' friends were so sad. Can you show me your sad faces? Mm -hmm. But then, let's count again. One, two, three. On the third day, Jesus came back. Now, how do you think his friends felt when he came back? Show me what face you would make. <gasps> yes! Happy! Jesus' friends were so happy because Jesus is alive. Jesus wanted to spend time with his friends so they could see that he wants to be their friend forever. So, one day, Jesus went to see his friends while they were fishing. Look, it's Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is alive. Peter was so excited, he jumped in the water. Splash! <laughs> and Peter swam right to Jesus. Guess what Jesus did next? Jesus made his friends breakfast. <laughs> Jesus told them he loved them and that he would always be their friend forever and ever. <laughs> and you know what? Jesus loves you so much and he wants to be your friend too, forever and ever. <gasps> oh. When I count to three, let's say, Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's right, friends. Jesus is alive. And Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. That's the truth, friends. Adios. <laughs> So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is alive and wants to be our friend forever, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! Jesus cooked breakfast for his friends to show that he would be their friend forever. And Jesus wants to be our friend forever, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. I'm going to go cook breakfast for my friends and tell them that Jesus wants to be their friend forever too. See you next time. Bye!
truth in this song. We're going to celebrate that truth this morning as we praise together one God. Those are some scary pigs.
What are you doing, John? Ah, uh, I'm going green. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Yeah. Oh, it's a power plant. Oh, I'm John, that's Brandon, Hello. and boy oh boy, do we have a show for you today. That's right, John, and a big surprise. Yeah, we have a, wait, we have a surprise? I don't lie, John, and this is a surprise that's been over a week in the making. Really? Yep. Uh, <laughs> are, are you gonna give me a clue or something about what it is? <laughs> Well, do you remember the community garden? Oh, how could I forget? Yeah. John and I have been working in a community garden this month, and it's not just the mm. plants that have grown, we've grown as well. Aww. Uh, we have? Yep. And now, I present to you... <laughs> my first early spring harvest! Yeah. Wow! I... I'm speechless. <laughs> I, 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 I don't even know what to say. I know, right? Oh, are those fresh strawberries? Mm -hmm. I love fresh strawberries. What are you doing? I, I, so, sorry, I, okay, okay. That was very rude of me, I didn't even ask. I'm very sorry, okay. May I have a fresh strawberry? No, ow! <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Are you just gonna eat them all? They're mine. Okay. All of them. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What about, what about these, um, what about these uh, radishes? I love radishes, they're like spicy. Hey! Ow! My precious says. What is wrong, what about the lettuce? Can mm. I have the lettuce? No! Uh. Kale, kale, yeah, the kale's good. good. No, what about, what about the grape, grapefruit? Yeah. Oh my! So are you telling me that I can't try any of it? No! Then why did you bring it in here, Brandon? I wanted you to see all my hard work. What? You could have just shown me a picture if you didn't want me to eat any of it. That wouldn't do it justice. Oh, oh, I'll show you justice. No, no, I said. Give me that. Get that mine! My apple! Ah! Oh, whoa! Oh. Oh. No! Oh. No! Oh. Ah. Oh. No! What have we done? It's Bible story time with Kellen. I must say, that is one way to eat your vegetables. But they're all gone, they're ruined. Well, can't you grow anymore? Well, I mean, this is just the early spring harvest. The first wave, if you will. <laughs> there should be more stuff coming in a little later. Good, good. Then what are you gonna do with all the food? Sounds like there's gonna be way too much food for you to eat. Alone. Huh. I don't know, I haven't thought about it. Well, maybe today's story will give you some ideas. Take it away, Kellen. Today's Bible verses come from the book of Philippians, which is a letter written by the Apostle Paul to a church he started in the Greek town of Philippi. Now, Paul wrote many letters to churches, mostly when things were not going well at that church. But he wrote to the Church of Philippi when things were going great, and he wanted to encourage them, but also warn them about a few things. Here's how he begins this part of the letter. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourselves. None of you should look out just for your own good. Each of you should also look out for the good of others. 
Paul was saying that we shouldn't just think about our own wants and needs. We should think about the needs of other people too. We should be humble. And here to help us remember just that is the cheer squad. Yo, yo, Jackie. What up, Dee Dee? Well, what you wanna tell these folks around here? Girl, listen to this. Don't just do what you want to do. Be humble, don't just try to get ahead. Be humble, do not be proud and do not be selfish. Value others more than yourself. Be humble. Boom! You're not breaking that verse down any better than that. Be humble, don't be selfish, and put others first. That's what Paul wrote. Let's see what he wrote next. As you deal with one another, you should think and act as Jesus did. In his very nature, he was God. Jesus was equal with God. But Jesus didn't take advantage of that fact. Think and act as Jesus did. Whoa, that's a tall order. But one of the reasons Jesus came was to give us an example of how we should live. So, when we deal with one another, we should think of how Jesus lived. Let's hear what the cheer squad has to say. Jackie. Yeah, Dee Dee. Now you know we're the best. Oh, yeah. But we got to be humble, right? That's right. And Jesus showed us the perfect way. When someone needs a friend. Think and act like Jesus did. When you lose or when you win. Think and act like Jesus did. You can't go wrong, you must admit. When you think and act like Jesus did. Nice. Paul wrote that Jesus was equal to God. Jesus could have demanded that people honor and serve him but that's not how Jesus was. Now, listen to what Paul wrote next. Instead, he made himself nothing. He did this by taking on the nature of a servant. He was made just like human beings. He appeared as a man. He was humble and obeyed God completely. He did this even though it led to his death. Even worse, he died on a cross. Jesus came to earth to serve others. And he did that in so many ways. But his greatest act of service was that he humbled himself to die on the cross for you and for me. He put us, he put you first. Let's hear one more from the squad. Didi, do you know what time it is? Yeah, it's about 11.15. Exactly. And it's also time to get humble. Oh, come on. H, hey. U. M-B-L-E What does it mean to show humility? H-U-M-B-L-E It's serving other people instead of worrying about me H-U-M-B-L-E Jesus came to earth to show us how to be H-U-M-B-L-E Then he died on a cross for you and me Let's give it up for the cheer squad. So there you have it. It's important that we put others first, before ourselves even, because that's what Jesus did for us. So for instance, we shouldn't be so proud of ourselves that we refuse to share our fruits and vegetables. I think that seems best, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Thanks, Kellen. <laughs> no problem, guys. I'll see you next time. We'll do. See ya. Listen, I really am sorry for ruining our, your vegetables and, and fruits. Are you kidding me? This was my fault. I should have been putting you first and, instead of trying to be the first to put all the food in my mouth. <laughs> so I'm sorry. And you know what? I, I'm gonna have another harvest and uh, next time you can help me in the garden. Is that uh, all right? Yeah, Okay. Brandon. That really means a lot. Oh, Ooh. look at that one blueberry. No! Oh no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's a habit. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll find it for you. It's sorry. All right. It's all right. 
<laughs> Reveal the question. Oh, so what are some ways you put others first? It can be as simple as holding the door for someone or just asking how their day is going or actually stopping what you're doing and helping someone who needs it. Yeah, you can also listen to someone and hear what they're saying instead of just waiting for your turn to talk. Yeah. And usually when you listen, you can see how to best help. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Oh, well, I guess that's the show. <laughs> yep. Oh, how is it? Oh, so good. <laughs> you can barely taste the floor. Yes. That's all for this week, everyone. Uh-huh. We'll see you next time for a brand new show. I'm gonna find you another one. No, you don't need to. You don't really, you really don't need to. Oh, uh, wait. You got any melon? Here's a strawberry. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> so in our discussion time now this morning, let's just think about how can we take this and let God's humility just sink into us? Because I don't know about you guys, do you ever think of yourself as the best or do you ever compare yourself to others? Yeah, I think, honestly, I think we all do. <clears throat> and I think that can just be really negative because whether we're comparing ourselves to someone else and thinking that they're better than us or we're comparing it to another group and we're saying we're better than they are, I think it just becomes hurtful. And if we look at this memory verse that we learned and we looked at today in Philippians 2, it talks about being humble and not being proud and lifting others up and putting others first. So I challenge you to do that. Just kind of look into your own life. Students, just kind of think about where you might struggle with that. Parents, I'd encourage you to do the same and just see where are we putting ourselves above others and where can we be like Jesus and just serve and love people into the kingdom. So um, I'd love to pray with you this morning and then we'll go about our week. But I just want to encourage you, if you want to send in a prayer request, 360-552-7794 or just let us know that, that you're here with us. But let me pray for you this morning. Lord, we just thank you for this morning. We thank you that you are real in our lives and that you impact us, Lord. And as we celebrate this, this, uh, this whole month, Lord, with Palm Sunday and Easter and today, that we would just continue to let you transform us and change us and just really turn our lives upside down, Lord. Help us to be servants. Help us to put others first and just go with you this week. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, go and live out your faith this week knowing that you can serve others and live like Jesus. So have a great week, and I'll see you next week, Ridge Kids.